Have you ever seen a small man walking down the bigger man? If not, you're in for an absolute show. This fight is between a Muay Thai champion and a multiple time American kickboxing world champion. The weight difference is at least 30 pounds and you can see that the American is a whole head taller. But that doesn't stop Somsong, a Lumpini Stadium champion from being the dominant fighter walking down the bigger man. So how is he able to do this? We will explore that in this breakdown. I often hear the saying, it's not about the style of the martial arts, it's about the fighter. That is absolutely false. The style matters, so does the fighter. You see, history has proven that Muay Thai beats all the other stand-up martial arts. Sure, they don't always win, but the win rates are ridiculously high with endless examples. There's a ton of matches like this, where the Thai gives up a tremendous amount of weight advantage. On top of weight, Thai champions were also handicapped by rule sets. For example, they aren't really allowed to clinch, to throw knees to the head, or elbows. David Humphreys, the American champion, is not just an average fighter either. He's a multiple time world champion who faced some of the best fighters in American history. He is known for his vicious hands and toughness. He once took a head kick from the great Dale Cook, a man with 94 wins and 4 losses, and world championships in 5 different weight classes, and just took the kick as if it was nothing. From the very start, Humphreys came out with this spinning back kick, and Somsong immediately marched forward. They felt each other out for a while, and both of them tried to snipe each other with their shots, but it was clearly the Thai who was the better kicker. He was chasing the big man down with high kicks and low kicks, and it was the big man who was feeling the pressure and running around the ring. The American was even cornered and eating shots in the end of the first round. When the round finished, Somsong showed absolute dominance by guiding the American back to his corner. In round 2, Humphreys decided to come out with a punching strategy. The savvy type feigned getting hurt by Humphreys' punches, only to bounce off the ropes and unleash a combo. Although none of the shots landed, the big man was clearly afraid of the small man's power. Then the big man unleashed a combination again, hoping to do damage, but Somsong just kept his guard tight and weathered the storm. Then he basically said, okay you want a punch, I'll give you some punches too. You see, a lot of Muay Thai fighters in the golden era knew boxing. During that time, many world boxing champions were produced by Thailand, and they all started as Muay Thai fighters. That meant boxing world champions and Muay Thai world champions oftentimes trained together. So although Somsong was the better kicker, he was not afraid to exchange punches with a bigger man known for his boxing. The Thai walked down the big man with absolute confidence, even evading more punches than his counterpart, and threw accurate overhands that landed over and over again. What a true sight to behold. Somsong would occasionally mix it up with the brilliant southpaw back leg low kick, then unleash his overhands again. Nothing Humphreys was throwing had any effect on the smaller man. In the third round, Somsong wanted to end it, and he knew he could do it with the low kicks. At this point, there was nothing the American could do to stop the Thai from marching in and throwing the attack of his choice. Every time the American champion threw a punch or a kick, it would be met with a low kick to the back leg. If he was running, it would be met with a low kick. If he was attempting to block, he'd still eat a low kick. It was a literal low kick buffet with the French commentator saying, Oh la la. Eventually, one too many low kicks landed and the referee stopped the fight. You see, American kickboxers were not used to receiving low kicks at all. And it was fights like this that changed the art of striking around the world. Size did not matter as much in fights like this because the style of Muay Thai was and is so effective. 
American kickboxers combine the best of boxing, karate, and taekwondo. But these styles all had glaring weaknesses against Muay Thai. And one glaring weakness is the ability to withstand low kicks. The Thais figured out many techniques that the world is still catching up to. This is why, in collaboration with Sanchai, the pound for pound striker of his era, we are going to release a premium video course on how to fight giants. Sanchai has beaten countless fighters with a 20 to 30 pound weight difference. We will share with you all there is to know about how it's done. If you're interested, do check out the link in the description.